Hey Kevin here with another Flip and Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items I pick up really cheap thrifting and garage selling and I sell online either on eBay or locally with Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Anyway, uh, I'll start the video with a couple of eBay sales I had on Sunday because I need to mail them out now. It's Monday. And then I will show you all of the local sales I had this weekend. I had a whole bunch over... Uh, uh, I bought them like uh, Friday and Saturday and then they all sold Sunday and then today on Monday. So anyway, as far as what sold on eBay, first one here is the shirt. It is a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. It's a, uh, they call it a Wrangler Retro, which was a line they made a while back. It's pretty cool. It's Pearl Snaps, but they're kind of like antique -y looking. And this one is a uh, green um, paisley color. Anyway, I thought it was, I bought it at Goodwill for $350. I thought it might be worth about $30, but I listed it at $24.95 with free shipping and then, you know, to just try to get rid of it. And then uh, someone gave me an offer for $20. So I decided to take it and just be done with it because I kind of don't really care about selling a lot of clothing anymore. So I'm just trying to get rid of it. Okay. Also, I had, um, I'll do this one first already kind of pre-boxed up but I'll show you it is that Rocky the singing lobster which is the cousin of big mouth Billy Bass I bought this at a rummage sale a while back showed it in the video I paid seven dollars for it I uh, brought it home and uh, it worked I had to glue one of his little arms was kind of broken so I super glued it back in place but tested it out it worked fine anyway I thought this was gonna go for a lot more money than it did but it did sell for, so I paid seven, it sold for $27.95 plus $11.15 shipping. So in total, I believe that is $39.10. I thought it was going to be between like $40 and $50, so it was a little under where it, where it actually went. But that's not too bad. Okay, also, this one's really cool. Okay, this is super heavy. Just happened to fit. This was a total guess. But I really like like old vintage stuff, especially kind of 50s and 60s graphics and, and just toys and things from back then. And I found this at a really unassuming uh, garage sale. It was mostly rusty tools and like old shotgun shells and things like that. But this was sitting there. The guy said he picked it up at an auction and he paid, I don't remember what he paid. I think he said he got it for a dollar or something like that. But it's this right here, some kind of roller split, I believe it's oak. But when I read it, it said Bongo Board. All right, so I looked it up on my phone, and this is like one of those rollers with a skateboard on top from back in like the 60s. It was a little toy you played with. And uh, anyway, if it was complete, and if it had the skateboard thing that you actually stand on, and it was not split, it was in a little better condition, these go for a lot of money. We're talking like $100, $120, $150. They go for a lot of money. But this is only the roller. It's not in the greatest shape. It has the split. The graphic on this side is terrible. This one is eh, passable. You can actually read what it is. I ended up buying it from the guy for two bucks. He told me he paid a dollar. So I said, well, what if I double that and just give you, you know, two dollars for it? Would you take that? Oh, yeah, I'd do that. So I brought it home and I just did a shot in the dark. Just figured I could probably get, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks, something like that out of it. So I listed it for 42.50 plus shipping. I mean, it's pretty heavy. And it eventually sold. It didn't take that long either. It had several people interested in it. So it sold for $42.50 plus $18.05 shipping. So in total, I believe that is $60.55 for this $2 block of wood I found. So that's pretty cool. So these old vintage toys are definitely worth looking into if you can find them. So anyway, I need to mail these out. I think this one absolutely has to go out today. So I'm going to stop the video right now. But then when I come back, I will show you a whole bunch of local finds I found and sold uh, this weekend. I got a bunch of them at garage sales. Some of them I found on the side of the road for free, and I sold a whole bunch of them. So let me break that down for you next. All right, so this is actually the third local sale of the day, but the other two I forgot to take video, so I'll just show pictures of them in a minute. But these are the dressers that I bought on Friday, and I paid, what, 30 a piece, so I have $60 in them. I listed at 140 and I got a few people interested, but not as many as I thought. I think because it turns out this drawer face right here is a little bit bowed out. And I think that scared people away. But finally I had someone interested, but they couldn't get them themselves. They wanted me to deliver. So I said I'd do it. They're not that far away, probably about five miles away or something like that. So I'll go ahead and do it. And they're gonna buy it for the full 140, I believe. 
unless they just really get turned off by that. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, if they do sell, that is an $80 profit. So today already with the three things I've sold, which two I'll show you here in a minute, I think I have either made back all the money I spent this weekend garage selling, so all the eBay stuff is free, or I'm really close to it. I have a couple other items people are probably gonna pick up later today too. So this stuff is going really quick. All right, well, I just got back from delivering the uh, set of dressers. I showed them that the one uh, drawer was bent on the front. They were okay with that. They paid the full 140 and they were really happy with them. So on the way home, I realized that across town, it is bulk trash pickup day. So I filled the van back up again and I got all this for free. So they're all pretty junky. All these chairs, there's something wrong with them like this one. It'd be easy fix, you could rewrap that, and it has a little wobble to it. That one, obviously, the back is gone. This one's missing a spindle, and that one's loose. This one I thought was in good condition from the road until I saw it up close. It's kind of chewed up. And then this one is just ugly, and it is cracked right here. And then this one is actually in really awesome shape. The um, base on it was loose, so I brought it home, put three new bolts in there, and it's totally fine, so I can get more money out of that one. And then also an old bladder. So my plan is just to post them all on Facebook and Craigslist for five bucks each. I'll put these two, or uh, sorry, this one on its own, those two together, that one on its own, that one on its own, that one on its own for more money, and this one on its own. So five bucks, five, 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 and I'll probably see if I can get maybe 15 or 20 out of that just to get rid of it real quick because it's kind of ugly, but it's in really nice shape and it's really comfortable. So that made it worth it. That's probably, what, about 30 bucks worth of stuff I picked up for free. So anyway, I got to put it away because now a lady's coming over for a chair I bought uh, while garage selling yesterday. So let me go ahead and take care of that first. All right, so these local sales are going crazy today. I've sold so many things I can't even keep up with them on the video. So the lady did come by, bought that chair a while ago, and I talked her into buying the mid-century cabinet I had as well. And I'll explain why here in a little bit. But anyway, now there's a lady coming by to buy this table. So hopefully after she comes by, I'll have a little time to go into my office and explain what everything you know sold for and how much I made and all that kind of stuff because there was a bunch of sales today. Well, I didn't have time to shoot more video and I got another sale going on. So someone contacted me and they wanted both chairs. This is one I just picked up free a couple hours ago off the side of the road. And then that one is the one I bought a week ago today for five bucks at the uh, estate sale. I had them both listed for $25 and they want to pick both up. So that's pretty cool. And I might actually end up selling out on everything I picked up this weekend by tomorrow. I have several people asking about the other stuff left over, but we'll see what happens. All right, so yet again, I did not have time to shoot video, but I just sold that dining table and four chairs that I picked up garage selling, I think on Friday. Anyway, someone on uh, Facebook bought it from me. And then another person on Facebook contacted me and they want this table. This is the wood and glass coffee table I got one week ago today at an estate sale for five bucks. So when this one sells, then I'm down to just two tables from this weekend. And then of course those free chairs I picked up off the side of the road, but if those don't sell, whatever, I'll just put them on the side of the road. But anyway, I'm almost sold out of everything. So this is pretty cool. I'm just selling tons of stuff this weekend. So this is turning out to be an awesome weekend for local sales. So first thing this morning, Monday morning, someone contacted me and they want to buy this cooler that I just picked up the other day at the uh, garage sale. I paid, I think it was on Friday, I paid $4 for it. I listed it for 40. I knew that was probably too much. I figured I'd get 30 or 35. They offered 30 and I decided to take it. And then later, she also wanted to buy this table, but someone else is already scheduled to uh, buy it later today, and someone's going to buy that as well. And I totally forgot I bought this radio. It was only $5. It's got the uh, record player and the uh, actual radio part down here. I kind of listed it as like a project. Maybe someone could turn it into like a, you know, a buffet or a storage cabinet or a shelf or something like that. And of course, this one's gonna take a little while to sell. So I only have five in it, even if I have to eventually sell it for like 10 bucks or something, I just wanna get rid of it. But then I will be almost all gone, except for the really junky chairs I picked up. Someone's already claimed the ladder, but they're not picking it up till Wednesday. So like I said, this uh, weekend has been crazy for uh, all these local sales. So I need to go run this over to the gas station and sell it real quick. 
All right, so I just got back from meeting the lady at the gas station to sell her that cooler, that thermoelectric cooler. It turns out she already had one and she was looking for another one. She brought it with me to show and it was an Igloo brand. Mine was a Coleman. She said she wants one to be cool and one to be warm when she takes stuff. I, I don't know where, but anyway, she wanted it, so she paid 30 bucks. So if you're wondering, hey, when he went out to uh, take that cooler, I wonder if he found more stuff on the side of the road. Well, the answer is yes. I completely filled the van again. So let me show you what all I found. So a nice little mix of things here. All right, so first off, uh, I drove around again today in that same neighborhood where the uh, neighborhood garage sale was on Friday and Saturday. Now people are getting rid of all their stuff. One of the houses had a ton of cardboard boxes, so I grabbed all the ones I thought would be good for shipping. It's really hard to find nice little boxes, and uh, I found a bunch of them today, so this is awesome. This is something I've been looking for for a while, and these are really, really nice. So now let me show you the stuff I can actually sell. All right, so here's what all I found. Sorry about the wind, it's really windy and cold today. But uh, anyway, start here, found three 10 signs. I'm sure they're all repops. They're still on the packaging. It looks like whoever had them at one point either bought them or tried to sell them for about nine bucks each. But I'll just bundle them together and see if I can get five or ten dollars for all three, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Basically, if someone offers five, I'll take it. Just get rid of them. Okay, all this pine wood right here, I believe, was a set of bunk beds. And I couldn't pass on it because it is really nice wood. It's really nicely finished. They're all really straight. Hardly any bowing at all. Maybe that board right there is a little bit bowed. But for the most part, they're really nice and straight. Um, they're one by six pine. They got finished edges. Looks like they're stained a little bit. Really, really nice stuff. So I grabbed it for free. I can turn it into tabletops or furniture or something. I can do some type of woodworking with them. So that was hard to pass on. I had to grab it. Okay, I also found a free set of skis. Really weird looking things. They almost look homemade. But uh, anyway, they were free. So I will probably post them as like, you know, a project grade, Pinterest grade type um, item on Craigslist and Facebook and uh, I don't know five dollars is probably too cheap I'm kind of thinking maybe 15 somewhere around there maybe 20 that might be a bit much but probably about 15 bucks and just mention you know they could be turned into like shelves or a chair or a bench or just hang on the wall or whatever so someone out there would probably want them okay I found another ugly just basic chair I'll see if I can get five bucks out of it or you know, someone could turn it into another Pinterest project or whatever. If not, then I'll just set it by the side of the road and someone will grab it for free. Okay, I also found this kind of a, um, I don't know what you call it, just a little really big puffy chair. It was in a really nice neighborhood. I thought it was leather, so I grabbed it. But now that I'm back home and looking at it closer, I think it's a vinyl. It's not in the greatest shape. But it is really comfortable, and I think I could get a quick 15 out of it, maybe 20, but I don't know, it might be a bit much, but we'll see. I might post it 20 and see what happens. All right, and this is probably the nicest thing I found. I think it's real leather. It was in a super nice neighborhood, and they were just throwing it out. It totally works. It spins fine. The kind of spring-loaded, whatever you want to call it, lean back to it or whatever, it still works. The hydraulics underneath work. The wheels are not broke. I think they are just getting rid of it because it's been well used really cracked right here some stuff missing there so if it's vinyl it's really high-end vinyl and if it's leather then it just has a lot of use to it so anyway uh, I don't know the price on it it's a little rough around the edges but I'll, I'll clean it up and I don't know I could probably get a quick 15 maybe 20 who knows maybe more maybe I could get 30 out of it or something like that but I'm gonna guess like 15 will make it move pretty quick so that was the finds from today kind of a weird mix but uh, I can sell some of them, and then a lot of it, just really cool material to keep. But uh, that was pretty cool. And I'm really happy with those boxes, too. Like I said, I, I find a lot of big boxes, but to find smaller ones is hard. And, man, I got a whole bunch of them. I think there was 20 in total. So I'm really happy with today's find. All right, so as I was packing up everything to take to the post office, my phone cha-chinged one more time, and I sold this. I sold the third Remington Wet to Straight Flat Iron. And uh, the other two I bought were uh, at Goodwill. They were $6 and one was $6.99. And they sold, I think, for $35 and $37.95 free shipping or something like that. Anyway, this one, it's a little bit older model, but I decided to see if I could get more out of it because new ones are selling for like $130 and there was someone trying to sell one for $50. Uh, this one, uh, it, it worked. I tested it. It was in good working condition. Everything was fine. The only issue was that... Um, it had a little bit of like burnt 
I don't know, hairspray or shampoo. I cleaned it all off with a, a rag and some rubbing alcohol, but there's just a little bit of a tiny trace of it and some of the grooves I couldn't get into. I don't think that's enough for a return, but uh, hopefully they'll be happy with it. But anyway, I only paid $1 for this at a garage sale and I sold it for $34.95 plus shipping, which was $9.85. So in total, they paid $44.80 and I only paid a dollar. That is a great return. These have all sold pretty quickly, so if I find more of these, I will definitely sell them and to hold out and definitely add shipping to them. Okay, so I mentioned that I'm hoping it's not a return. The reason I have that on my mind is because I did have two returns this weekend I forgot to mention. First one is that big, ugly, green swing line binding stapler thing I just sold a couple of videos ago. And uh, anyway, I think I got it for $2, 2 or $3 at Salvation Army. I think it was 2 And... Uh, Anyway, I sold it for $46.95 with free shipping, and uh, it was eight something to ship out. So in total, I had a little over $10 in it to send it to them. And they got it, they tried it out, and they said it kept jamming on them every once in a while, and it was slowing them down. They just wanted to return it and find a different one that worked better. But because it wasn't working, I, did, I wasn't able to you know, win the case, or whatever you want to call it. So I would have had to pay shipping to, for it to come back. Well, I don't want it to sell it to anyone else. I just cut my loss and just considered it a $10 loss. So I gave them a full refund. They get to keep it, whatever. I'm done with it. I had another return. This one sucked even more. It was the CapTel phone, that big hearing impaired phone I just sold a couple videos ago. It had a real loud ringer. It had a screen. It had a readout of text and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I got it at Goodwill. I paid $3. I had a dollar in a phone cord and um, internet cord for it to work. I tried it out in the store and it, the screen lit up and all that and then when I got home I tried it out again and uh, plugged it in and it had a couple of lines going across the screen. I unplugged it, plugged it back in and then it was totally fine. And then I plugged it into the phone line and the internet uh, cable or ethernet or whatever and it had a, a ring tone or a um, dial tone on it and it was trying to hook up to our Wi-Fi. So I figured it was in good working condition so I went ahead and sold it. Well, the people got it, and they said it wasn't working. They called the CapTel company. They couldn't help them, so they wanted to just return it and get a different one. But, man, same thing. It was, you know, I said it worked. They said it didn't, so I kind of lost out on that deal. I paid four. For whatever reason, it was really expensive to ship. It was almost $18 to send out. So, in total, it cost me $22 to send it to them, and it only sold for $46. I didn't want to have to then pay another... 22 or like 20 bucks to have it shipped back to me because then I'd have lost all of the money I couldn't even make money if I wanted to sell it for parts or whatever So I just decided to cut my loss on that one as well So I think I lost about 22 bucks on it. They get to keep it. They can do whatever they want Whatever I move on I did really well with local sales this weekend So I don't really care about that, but I need to be a lot more careful with all that kind of stuff So now let me go ahead and pack this up. I need to run to the post office real quick then I have a couple more local sales today uh, that I need to do. And then I will finally show you the breakdown of everything I bought and what it sold for and all that this weekend because I had a bunch of local sales. Okay, so I got everything packed up and sent to the uh, post office before they close. So I'm all good with that. And then I had two more local sales I mentioned. It was two tables. One was a little tiny side table. Um, a lady bought it and she's going to redo it. She's starting up a business or she's going to redo furniture. And anyway, she bought that from me. And then I also sold a uh, really heavy um, oak coffee table that was in real rough condition. Anyway, I uh, um, sold it to a lady who bought it for her son, who's going to take it to his new college apartment and just needed something. And it was really cheap, so she was happy with that. So now what I'll do is I will do the rundown of exactly what sold, and then um, I'll tell you where I got it, how much I bought it for, how much it sold for and how much I made. And then at the end, I'll give you some uh, numbers. And uh, anyway, the first two items here were purchased at the estate sale one week ago. I went on a Sunday right before they're gonna close. They had 75% off and I got these even cheaper than 75% off. The first one was that little old lady looking pink flex steel chair. I paid five, it sold for $25. And uh, anyway, I made $20 on that. I also sold that octagon, I think it was octagon shaped uh, coffee table. It had a glass top. Um, I paid five at that estate sale. It also sold for $25. So I made $20 profit on that as well. Okay, the next several items are all purchased at like garage sales and yard sales on Friday and Saturday. So just what, two days, two or three days ago, and, or three or four days ago, I guess. 
And uh, anyway, um, first one was the dining table and four chairs. It had a real rough looking top, but it was so cheap that I knew I could flip it pretty quick. Uh, I paid $35 for it. I was asking $85 and the people that bought it off of Facebook offered me $75. So I ended up making 40 bucks on that. Okay, uh, I also sold, like I just mentioned, that uh, really heavy oak coffee table. Um, I got it, I think, at that same yard sale for $5, and I sold it to the lady today for $25, so it's pretty cheap. Really nice, actually heavy oak table. It could have been refinished and looked really nice, so I made $20 on that. Okay, um, also, I sold those two dressers I picked up. One had the little bowed front end. I paid... Um, $30 each, so I paid $60 on those. I had it written wrong up here, but anyway, I paid $60, and I sold them for $140 off of Facebook, so that is, I believe, an $80 profit, so that's really nice. I got max money out of that. I was surprised it went for $140. Okay, this next one was the Antique Cedar Chest. I think I got it Saturday morning at a garage sale that I passed up on Friday, Anyway, I paid $10 for it. The lady said it was like her grandma's or something like that. It looked really rough to me, but it was cedar inside. So I figured, well, it is nice, but the outside is really trashed up. So I'll just ask $45 and we'll see what happens. I got absolutely overwhelmed with people. I had, man, how many was it? It was 33 people, 32 people were asking me about it. I, and uh, the like first or second person that responded and said, hey, I want it. Can I get it at this time? I promised it to them. And then all these other people contacted me afterwards. Hey, I'd love to have that. I could come right now. I will pay you more money. So I definitely had that one way, way, way wrong. And uh, I probably should ask a lot more money for that. So I didn't exactly know what I had. But from now on, if I find a really old antique piece like that, that really dark wood, even if it's trashed out, I'll ask more than I think and we'll see what happens. So anyway, it did sell to her for 45 bucks, so I made $35 profit. I bet I could have sold that for almost 100 bucks, probably 80 to 100, and it still would have sold because, man, that thing had a ton of people asking about it. Okay, moving on. Saturday morning, I also got that little mid-century modern chair that was broke in the back, and a lady bought it. it her and her daughter are starting up a uh, little store where they're going to sell mid-century furniture. She has a wood shop, so she was totally fine with that. Uh, being broken, she said she could repair it. Anyway, I paid five dollars for that. I sold it to her for thirty dollars, so I made twenty-five dollars on that. Okay, as she was about to leave, she really liked our house and some of the stuff we did to it, and she liked our house numbers, which I did. I made out of nails. And I made a video on my uh, DIY Dork channel about how I made our house numbers, and uh, anyway, she really liked the idea, and she said, "Can I take a picture of that?" So. I said sure, and then I went back inside the car or inside the house. She went to her car, got her phone, come back out, and uh, was taking you know a picture of our house number so she could remember that idea. And then um, anyway, I went back out and I was like, hey, w real quick, you said that you and your daughter are starting up a uh, store for mid-century modern furniture. Would you also be interested in this cabinet I have? All right. So then I brought out that mid-century modern cabinet that was homemade. I bought at a uh, garage sale. The people said her, the lady said it was either her dad or her uncle or something made it back in the 60s. It was actually built really nice. I paid $10 for that. And she asked how much. I said, I'm asking $55. She offered $40. I counted at $45 and she took it. So I ended up making $35 off of that. She was really, really happy with that. Okay, so then um, at the same yard sale where I bought that cabinet is where I got that ribbed side table. Kind of an antique table. Really dark, uh, dark brown, which seemed to be popular. I got a lot of people asking about it as well. So it's probably something to keep in mind if you find these antique pieces or the really dark wood that might be worth looking into. Anyway, that thing was really scratched up. It had some, some pretty terrible stuff scratched in the top. I don't even want to explain on the video. But uh, anyway, I paid $5 for that at that sale. And then a lady today bought it for $20. So I made $15 profit. Turns out, the lady that bought it is the daughter of the lady that bought that antique cedar chest. The lady that bought the antique cedar chest wanted to buy this table, and I told her no. I promised it to someone else. Little did I know it was her daughter. So anyway, she told me that today, that her mom's the one that bought that cedar chest. So I made uh, two sales off the same family. Okay, and then the other sale I made from Garage Sale Finds was that Coleman cooler. I sold it this morning, first thing. 
I only paid $4 for that. I was actually considering keeping it, even, even though we don't really need it. It was kind of cool that it heated and cooled off. And anyway, this lady contacted me today. I was asking $40 on it. I knew that's too much, but she offered $30. I counted at $35. She said, all I have on me right now is $30. We lost everything in our house fire. We're trying to build back up. So I said, that's fine. And that way I could get rid of it real quick. So I sold it to her for $30. So I made $26 on that. And when she showed up, she showed me that she had another one of these, but except it was Igloo brand. So the one I found at the garage sale was the first time I ever knew these things existed. And then I sell it to a lady that already had one. So that was kind of interesting. Okay, the next sale was I found at, um, I think it was Friday at Salvation Army. And it was that faux leather brown recliner. It's in really nice shape. They also had a couch next to it, but that couch was already sold. If it hadn't been sold, I would have bought it as well. It was super nice condition. I only paid $30 for it. And I sold it, uh, man, what was the deal? I sold, a lady wanted it and then she backed out because it didn't fit. Then I went to the second person. This guy really wanted it. He said, I can come now, cash in hand. I told him, hey, it's available. He said, oh man, I just bought a futon. I can't buy it anymore. So then I went to the third person who said, this is an exact match for our couch. I'd love to have it if the first person backs out. So she ended up getting it and she come uh, early in the morning so, and she bought it for $75. So I made a $45 profit on that as well. Okay, then the last item I have listed is that real grandma looking blue velvet rocker swivel chair. Um, I got it free on the side of the road when I found all those junk chairs just driving around. When I delivered the, um, what was it, those two dressers I had to deliver to someone and then on the way back I was just driving around town. Anyway, I got it for free and I made the mistake of I cross posted it on Facebook and on Craigslist. I meant to post it for $25, the same price as that pink chair, $25. But when I put it on Craigslist, I accidentally put it at $20. And these people found my listings there, so they contacted and asked, hey, are your two chairs for sale? I'd like to have them. I said, sure. I was thinking I was going to get 50 bucks, and I only got 45 So I sold it to them for 20 because that's what I accidentally wrote on there. So those, that same person bought the grandma-looking pink chair and the grandma-looking blue chair. So that was all of the local sales of the weekend. That is by far the most I've ever sold in two days of uh, local sales. Now... Profit-wise, it's maybe not super crazy. It's still pretty good, though. And uh, if you look at it, except for that little side table, it made $15. Everything made $20, or $20 and above, which is pretty good. It's close to my like, $30 eBay type thing. But locally, I don't think I really care because you know I don't have to spend time taking you know 12 pictures and packing it up and printing shipping labels and then taking it to the post office. When I do that, I, I would like to get my $30 profit with this stuff. I can take, I take 10 pictures, but not always. And then I just bring them in and then I post them real quick. It's super fast. And man, if I can make 10, 15 bucks real quick, then no problem. It does take up a lot of room and my wife is never happy when I bring them home. She doesn't like that the house smells like a thrift store for a few minutes or whatever. But uh, anyway, that was a lot of sales. Um, I'll add them up and then give you totals. I don't want to do it in my head right now. So I'll do that next. All right, so there are two local items I bought this weekend that I did not count here because they haven't sold yet. One of them was that old antique Bendix uh, stereo cabinet thing or whatever. It had a um, record player on top and a radio on the side and all the tubes, speakers, and all that kind of stuff inside. I only spent $5 on it. There's someone interested in it. I think they might be coming later this week to buy it. And then I also bought that set of 20-pound dumbbells. I think I only spent $3 on them. And I listed them for 30 and there's someone interested in them as well, but it's not going to be till later in the week when they might come get them. So I'm not counting them. But everything else is what sold this weekend. Two of the items I bought a week ago, everything else I picked up Friday and Saturday, except for the chair I got on the side of the road for free on Sunday afternoon. And uh, anyway, um, in total, I only spent $170 on all of it, okay, all these local items. And in total, they sold for $555. So when you subtract the what I spent from that, I made a profit of $385. So that's not too bad. I mean, that is a lot of items, but really they were all, you know, just kind of a little bit of money here and there, $20 here, $30 here. The uh, two dressers went for $80. That was probably the find of the week for local sales, but everything else is, you know, $20, $15, $25, $35, and it really starts to add up. 
And that was a lot of work, and I don't normally have weekends like this, but that was still pretty good. So 385 bucks for about three and a half days of work, two days, you know, two mornings garage selling, and then yesterday all day I was making sales, and then today I had a few, one in the morning and two in the afternoon. And uh, anyway, that's not too bad. So if you only wanted to do local sales, and you did this, you know, two or three times a, a month, you could probably make more money than that, and that's some nice extra money to have around, okay? Plus, you could find way more profitable items. I was just doing furniture because I'm used to that, but like I said, I found all kinds of, like, uh, motorcycle parts and leather jackets and all this kind of stuff this weekend, and I just wasn't quite in the know on those to know if they were good deals or not, but if you know stuff like that, and you think you could sell them locally, you could probably make way more money. I mean, there's times where I'll find a set of dressers I'll spend, you know, a hundred dollars on them and they'll sell for 300 so i'll make like 200 dollars just on one item that sells this week was a lot of i mean none of it was really in that good a condition it was all scratched up and beat up and i was still able to make pretty good money on it so that's what's really cool about garage sales is it's just you know the, the prices are so cheap and you can still make good money off of them and i don't have to deal with all the shipping and the printing the labels and research and all that that's involved with ebay I just did stuff I know, which is furniture. Locally, I kind of know what stuff goes for, and I made almost 400 bucks, you know, for a couple of days looking around and buying stuff. So, anyway, if you like this video and uh, you uh, want to see more of them and uh, you just like the types of things I'm showing you and all that, go ahead and hit a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment of what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so you can keep up with more of these videos. So, anyway, thanks for checking it out.